In this video, we have the brand new Arm Wrestle Simulator update that just dropped. And yeah, we act this is actually a pretty massive update and this went ahead and added a bunch of things into the game. And yeah, this is definitely a lot larger than pretty much a lot of the other previous updates. There's actually so much content inside this update. So yeah, make sure you guys watch the entire video so you guys can see everything. So yeah, let's get into it right now. So yeah, if we go and take a look at the update log, as you can see, we have net casting. We, have, we can catch fish for pets. We have a fisherman merchant find exclusive items. We also do have item trading now in the game, which is very cool. We do have a new season six pass as well, which is pretty nice. A new event egg and new limited eggs as well. It's pretty much everything we have. But yeah, that's still a lot of content for an update. Not gonna lie, there's a bunch of different things we need to go over. And yeah, first things first, we can go ahead and start with the season pass. And yeah, this thing definitely looks pretty insane. And we do have some of the new the exclusive eggs that were added in the game. We have the mutated egg and the glitched egg. I'll go and show those in the shop in a second. But yeah, as you can see, this is the new season six pass and looks pretty cool. You can get a bunch of different things like some fruits as well. Some radioactive keys, some more eggs. And then also, which is very cool, as you can see, they went ahead and added a new arm, which is called the buff vine, which does three thousand percent and yeah this is by far the strongest arm that is inside the game i'm not sure what this uh, poseidon arm was like base stats i don't really remember but we can go and look at the radioactive crate right now and as you can see the best arm in here is only 2700 so the fact that this one is 3000 is actually pretty insane and yeah it shouldn't be too difficult to get as well some people will probably be able to get this thing in golden and max out all the strengths pretty quickly and yeah also as you can see if you go ahead and complete the season pass 10 times you can get a huge starry boss and yeah this thing looks absolutely insane and yeah this thing does so much damage 1.5 billion and i'm pretty sure it's not even leveled up at all or i think it might be missing something else as well so this thing can have some absolutely ridiculous stats if you can max it out and yeah if any of you guys can actually somehow manage to get your hands on this i would definitely uh, take it for a video and borrow it it would definitely be pretty insane but yeah we do have these season six eggs as well as you can see the best pet is now 220 million base multiplier which is actually very strong the previous one was like 150 million so this is actually a pretty big jump from the previous pet so yeah definitely pretty interesting and yeah i think i'm gonna wait to purchase the pass until i go and complete some of the free to play rewards and get towards the end maybe and then if i can get towards the end i'll go and purchase the pass or the premium pass so i can unlock everything in here but yeah, let's go ahead and teleport over to the garden because I really want to see this fishing update and see what they added for fishing. And yeah, as you can see, we have a fisherman merchant right here. We can go and do some trades if we want. And yeah, you can go and trade them in for tickets as well, which is pretty cool. And yeah, you can go and do some of the trades. And it does restock very quickly, so it's pretty actually pretty beneficial to fish, I think. I think the fishing is actually pretty cool. As you can see, this is what the UI looks like. And you have to basically just tap and keep it inside the green arrow. Or keep the line inside the green section and you'll go ahead and catch a fish. Or a fruit, I guess it really depends on what you can get. You can get a lot of different things. But yeah, this is actually a very cool feature, I'm not gonna lie. I really like the way they went ahead and went with this. Because you can actually do a few things with these fish, and you can actually choose what to use them for. So yeah, the fish basically give you your pet XP. So if you want, you can go ahead and give your pet XP with the fish. Or if you don't really want to give your pet XP, you can literally just sell it to the fisherman merchant and get a pretty good amount of tickets. The fisherman actually gives a lot of tickets, and it's actually pretty beneficial to actually trade it to be honest they might actually nerf it i have no clue but yeah the fishing is definitely a very cool addition to the game i definitely like it a lot but yeah if i had one little critique i would probably make a way where you can like automatically fish or something whether it's like a game pass or something you can unlock in the game because you can't really afk this not gonna lie even if you have an auto clicker it still won't really work you're gonna have to manually sit here and click if you want to get all these things and all these items but yeah nonetheless it's still pretty cool but yeah if i had one little criticism i would definitely make like an auto fishing game pass or something like that that would be pretty cool but yeah i went ahead and caught a couple of sharks already which is pretty nice and i'm pretty sure these are actually worth a good amount of tickets as well so yeah that's definitely pretty nice i don't think they went ahead and like i don't think luck affects it i can go ahead and stop real quick I don't think the luck potion will actually affect your fishing luck. I could be wrong, but I don't think it's going to affect anything. I do have the potion active and running, but yeah, I wasn't, I don't think I'm, I got any luck. Cause it does say it gives you egg luck, so I'm not sure if you get it for fishing as well. But yeah, I did go ahead and get three sharks. So I want to go ahead and go over here to the fisherman merchant and throw them in here and see how much tickets I can get. And yeah, I can go ahead and get 200 tickets just like that. That was actually pretty easy. 
and that did not take much grinding at all. We also can go and trade in some of these regular fish as well and get some tickets from here, which is actually very beneficial. We just got a ton of tickets for pretty much doing nothing. So yeah, if you do want to actually get tickets in the game, this is definitely the way. You can get so many tickets inside of here. I'm not sure if because maybe I have the double tickets game pass. Maybe there's, these are off, they're offering twice the amount of tickets and what these would be worth, maybe. Let me know in the comments down below because I'm pretty curious since I do the double tickets game pass. I wonder if they're selling me. Are these, these should be 10 tickets instead of 20 and this should be 25 instead of 50. But yeah, I don't really know. But nonetheless, this is still a pretty good way of making tickets even if you do not have the double tickets game pass and it doesn't give you double the amount you can still get a pretty good amount of tickets from fishing and this is actually very overpowered and then yeah also, also another thing we do have in the update is we did go ahead and get a new event egg it's actually been a long time since we got an event egg and this is a tiki egg right here so yeah pretty cool we have a bunch of tiki themed pets as you can see the last pet actually is pretty good the stats of it is only 3.7 million damage which isn't bad it definitely could be a bit better but I think the reason you would want to get this pet is for what actually the enchant does have. And yeah, as you can see, it has best friend 8 and is guaranteed every time. So it's actually pretty good to get. But yeah, I already have a full team of best friend 8 pets. But I know a lot of you guys do not have best friend 8 pets. This actually could benefit you guys a ton if you can manage to get your hands on these. And yeah, these will definitely be very beneficial if you can go ahead and get this. But it's going to take a little bit of grinding. And it seems like the way to get them is actually the same exact way by defeating the Ripper Dog. But you do only have to defeat him one time per kill. So you'll get one egg per defeat which is still pretty nice and then yeah something else they went ahead and added and that hasn't been previously added is as you can see at the bottom if you go ahead and open up 50 event eggs you will go ahead and receive the limited title called tiki champ so yeah it's definitely very cool you can go ahead and get a tiki title in the game which is pretty nice but yeah, also unfortunately they did not add any new quests to the game or not quests trails so i'd have the best trail in the game still and yeah they did not add any new rebirths and we also did not get any new super rebirth upgrades unfortunately and we also didn't really get anything new inside of the shop except for the two exclu exclusive eggs that were added as you can see they also look pretty cool some of these pets look pretty nice so yeah definitely some pretty cool eggs they went ahead and added and definitely uh, some pretty cool pets but yeah i'm definitely gonna probably grind the season pass because i want to try and see if i can get to the end and if I can actually manage to get this arm, that would definitely be very beneficial. But yeah, when I mentioned this earlier briefly, but if you guys, if one of you guys actually does get the huge starry boss, one of you, and, and you do want to lend it for a video, I would definitely appreciate it to go and test out its true power and just see how broken this thing actually is. And yeah, last thing before I end off the video, one last change they went ahead and did to the game. If we go ahead and head over to the underworld, if we go ahead and go over to the merchant, unfortunately, they went ahead and removed the phoenix fruit that was located inside of the merchant and you can no longer get it in the game. So yeah, it's definitely very unfortunate because you, people that do have it still keep it in their inventory, but you are no longer able to get any more of them. So yeah, unfortunately, I was not able to get one and I do not have my hands on one, but hopefully if they go ahead and add it back, I can uh, maybe get one. But yeah, pretty much is everything for the video. I want to know in the comments down below what you guys think of this update. I think this is definitely a very good update. It added a bunch of new content to the game, which made it very nice. But yeah, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because we're on the road to 100k subs. I really appreciate if you guys subscribe. And yeah, thank you boys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.